Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get our energy messages. What does spirit want you to focus on? What chakra, what energy, what blockages, what advice does spirit have to say? Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to pull some cards. If you are interested in your own personal energy message, the link to that and all my other readings will be in the description box below. I am also running a special for Christmas, so every one of my readings in my Etsy shop right now until Friday will be 25% off. So if you're interested right now, definitely is the time to do so. Let's go ahead and pull some cards. Let's see what energies do spirit, what chakras does spirit want to talk about? What does spirit have to say? Oh, okay, we have some blue coming out, and this is that dark blue, so I'm going to say that this is more the third eye, and we have insight, so yes, definitely the third eye coming forward. We have more blue coming forward, and this is going to be joyfulness, and then we have some green coming forward. We have some transformation coming out, and let's see what is our last card we have communication and i'm going to take this as a blue as well um, for throat chakra and this is more of a third eye and throat chakra as well because it has that like light blue that dark blue and so you definitely have a lot about third eye throat and heart chakra coming forward it is time for you to listen to your heart okay it is time for you to listen to your heart allow spirit to guide you if you're feeling really disconnected right now really worried about something, um, you're just feeling really down, whatever it is, I want you to let spirit guide you and lead you to that happiness, lead you to that joyfulness, lead you to that fulfillment, because it's there, it's there, because transformation is coming out, right, like the transformation is there, spirit is trying to have that communication with you, for others of you, if this is where it's time for you to see a situation for what it truly is so you could move forward into this true happiness and transform yourself and be able to speak who you truly are, it's time for you guys to do so, okay? This week or whenever you are viewing this video, it is so important for you to pay attention. I want to say to messages that you're getting from spirit, really listening to your heart, understanding that you can receive and you can give joy. If you are feeling like you need to say something, then you could speak up and say it. It's really about communication. If you feel that there was a miscommunication, this could be um, where you know you're feeling guided to have a conversation with somebody or you're like, I don't understand why this played out that way. There will be a conversation um, to fix that, okay? But for some of you where there has been a blockage and this is like, I don't know where to go. I don't know how to fix this situation. I don't know what to do, okay? Spirit is trying to give you some insight spirit is trying to give you some guidance and trying to help you and there for some of you it's like there's something about speaking up speaking up for yourself saying what you truly want or talking about what you um like speaking from the heart okay with that coming out i just feel like there's like something about speaking from the heart let's go ahead and pull some more messages all right we have a new chapter coming forward there's that blue purplish coming forward again all right we have worlds within world all right and we have shine coming forward and we have free spirit wow what a beautiful message okay spirit is really telling you sorry it looks so freaking crooked um Spirit is really telling you that it is time for you to allow this guidance to happen because there is there is a new chapter for you. It's time for a new chapter. And this is like where you didn't know that this would happen. With this world inside worlds, I feel like this is where you didn't know something could happen or this is like where you thought this is all that could be, but there's so much more into this. Like you're about to shine. You're about to really, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? The light just turned off as I was speaking. So spirit is definitely saying that there is about to be some change, okay? And this change is going to be something to make you shine. Whatever this is that you are feeling like you need to speak up for yourself, you need to walk away from something, you need to let something go, you're being guided, okay? If this is where you're really thinking about heading down a new path, for some of you, it's like you're heading down a new path or you're thinking about heading down a new path, 
this is going to change you. This is going to really, really make you feel, I feel, where you belong or shine or just kind of like free. I feel just grounded where you belong. Like that's the word I can, I, that's the only word I can use. It's like where you belong. You're finding where you belong, where you're comfortable. You're not worried about, you know, whatever the worry is right now. Like I'm not worried about that. With this world inside worlds, I just feel like this is where you thought that this is as good as it can get or there was nothing better or this wasn't going to work out. And then all of a sudden, like, bam, everything happens. Like, this is something new. For some of you, if you were thinking about doing something new, spirit is communicating and guiding you to this because it's like it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to feel free and not connected to this, not having to do this, not having... Like, I just feel like I feel locked in a box right now, okay? And spirit is guiding you out of this box, holding your hand, showing you, um, like, the world. Like, I'm taking off your training wheels. I'm showing you the world. Like, you deserve the world. And you just thought that, like, this is all you had. But the gate's about to open to so much more. Yeah, begin to explore. As I'm saying that, okay, and the light turning off, Spirit is really telling you that there is so much more to come. Do what you love. Strengthen your gifts. And we have count your blessings. Oh, what a beautiful message. Okay. With this new chapter, begin to explore. For those who are thinking about maybe jumping down a new career path or, you know, heading down a different path as far as like where your heart is feeling so called to do, your heart wants to leave this behind and go into something else or you're just really not happy in whatever this is and you could be like, I feel this could be where you know what you need to let go of but you don't want to let go of this, okay? You're like, I, I don't want to let go of this. It's time for you to explore something more because whatever this is, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It is going to be a part of you because it's strengthen your gifts. It's going to be something that was already there and you just are like, bam, that's what I, I needed. And whether this be a relationship, whether this be a job, whether this be moving, whether th whatever this is, it's like that talent, that feeling, that was already there. It just came stronger when you started putting effort into that. When you allowed spirit to guide you, that flowed into your life, okay? With this count your blessings, there's so many things around you to be grateful for. Even if you were feeling so incredibly low, count your blessings. Be grateful. Feel that grateful, that gratitude, that thankful energy to keep that abundance flowing, okay? Because even when it gets hard, I know that it's hard to be like, oh, I'm, I'm thankful for this or, you know, whatever the case might be. But I want you to remember to stay in that gratitude energy. When, even when you're feeling down, even when you're like having a bad day, remember to stay grateful for your, your little things because it keeps that energy flowing. It doesn't allow resistance or blockages to come in there. All right. Ooh, I love that. You literally have energy work coming out, every um, chakra coming on out. So that is a beautiful message. It is really time, I feel, with this card coming out. You really need to allow spirit to guide you because there's a lot of things that are happening for you right now. I feel like you're really working on rooting yourself. You're really working on being able to communicate, communicating with spirit, but also communicating what you want or what you want to do, which direction you want to head. It's a new chapter for yourself. And this communication could be where you and spirit are just communicating so strong and you understand the messages, you see the guidance and you're headed that direction. And there is no, you know, what ifs or buts about this. Like I see the message clear as day. I'm heading that direction. Okay. With your heart chakra, Whatever this is, okay, you are welcome to this. Whatever it is that you're about to explore, that you're about to open, it is something that you had no idea even existed. Even maybe coming across this video, you've been feeling something new or maybe this is an idea that you've come across. You had no idea that this talent or this feeling inside of you even existed and you're about to shine and just feel so, when I say free, I feel like this is like 
free in the sense of like, I'm so rooted and comfortable. I have nothing to worry about. I'm just feeling very blessed. I, I have a lot of free, I feel like a lot of free energy, like the flow of energy is very free. I don't have any blockages out there, okay? Now we have, um, or, oops, sorry, I'm gonna drop the card, there it is, okay. We have dream journal coming forward. We have burning bowl ritual. And let's just get two more. We have clear your energy field. Love that that is coming out. And we have chanting. I love that those messages are coming out. Okay. With the rest of these message, dream journal and burn bowl ritual. Okay. So those who are spiritual or, uh, you know, um, have any of that witchy in them, I definitely maybe think that you can do a burn bowl ritual as far as the new year. I want to say new year or whenever you're watching this, that would be something that you should definitely do. Now with this burn bowl ritual and this dream journal coming out, there's two different things that I want you to do. I want you to write a list of goals, dreams, ideas when it comes to this, okay? Whatever this blockage is that you're feeling where you want to move forward, it's time to clear your energy field. Do not put any resistance out there. When you think of a fresh start, when you think of moving forward, what do you think about? Where, what energy do you want to be in? Okay, allow spirit to guide you in this. And for others of you, if this is where something has held you back in the past, because we have the heart chakra coming out or where you have felt felled in the past, it is time for you to really write that down and release those and burn that after. I want you to burn that, like um, the letter, that you write of your hurts i want you to burn that letter and release that energy when you are thinking of your goals i really want you to feel those i want you to be positive about them listen to your affirmations do meditations okay it's really time for you to clear your energy field with this coming out and the energy work the energy around you this could be other people this could be energy that you've held on to I feel that there could be some negative energy or some toxicity in your energy field and we need to clear it. We need to cleanse it. It's time for us to focus on our goals. It's time for us to focus on where we can move forward. And when it comes to chanting, this is where I want you to speak your, speak your goals to yourself. Speak your goals out loud. This goes into meditations. This goes into... Um, all, I feel all different ways, okay? If you need to, if you're somebody who talks about your goals, talk to them about your, talk to them to yourself. Chant to yourself that you're successful, that you're going to make it, that you are loved, that you are beautiful. Whatever this is, I want you to chant this to yourself. And I want you to believe it. Listen to affirmations. Really get that in your energy field of being successful in whatever it is that you are asking for, okay? Because spirit is like, I am guiding you. I am here holding your hand. You just have to listen to me. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed their message. As always, if you are interested in booking your own personal energy message with me, the link to that is in the description box below. And all my readings right now are 25% off. So make sure if you are interested in booking a reading, use code Merry Christmas. Um, and I am sending you all lots of abundance and blessings. Take care.